Thanks for joining me for this edition of Church Security Answer, man. We're talking about four incidents, explosive incidents, that have injured people at churches recently, as special attention to the Las Vegas metro area. But we can all learn lessons from these incidents. So let's talk about the details. This occurred just Wednesday night, just a night or so ago. Uh, and basically, we had a firework device, an explosive device that was tossed into a church gym where youth were uh, playing. They were having a, some sort of an event and four people were injured in this. Now, this came from the outside, was tossed in through the door and a pretty good explosive device. Apparently, if you take a look here, I mean, it's caused some damage to a sturdy gym floor. And uh, so, and apparently this is not the first incident. It, it, it was the first one for that night, but apparently that was the third device, explosive device that was thrown into the building within the last month. This same building, which is the uh, LDS Church in Henderson, Nevada. So, you know, what are we doing? What are we doing to control these events? And it's simple. We keep talking about it. It is so simple for us to deal with this kind of stuff and prevent this kind of stuff. And by the way, it's not just at this church. There's a similar incident that was reported just a short distance away in the Mission Hills Park area at another uh, venue, another church venue, as I understand it, and it, very close to this one. And it occurred on this Wednesday night, just the other night as well. So what can we learn from this stuff? What can we do? And I'm, I'm ready to scream because it is very, I don't care if you have one person or if you have 10 people, one of the principles that I'm just really interested in communicating to you for us to secure our places is the main entrances. So if we're at church on Saturday or Sunday, then we're at the front door. We've got somebody posted at the front door paying attention. And an event like this, we could prevent all four of these. I, I'm assuming, I don't know the exact layout of the buildings, but we could prevent these by posting somebody outside to watch the parking lot, which we all talk about. And I don't care which uh, YouTuber you watch for content, we're all talking about the parking lot is where these people come from. And the front door is where these people are coming into. And in this case, they're tossing explosive devices into the church or the church venue or the gymnasium uh, from the front door. And so, you know, pay attention to this principle here because we can do a lot to protect our church, a lot to protect our people by just monitoring the main entrance and trying to condense these entrances down to one or minimal and posting a person to watch. Somebody's chances are somebody's not going to come up and toss a device in through the front door if you have somebody posted at that front door with a flashlight if it's nighttime or being seen or under a some sort of spotlight. Whatever the case is, make sure they're being seen and they're outside watching these situations. So sometimes it's more simple than we realize to do some major security measures to protect our people. Hey, I hope you'll like and subscribe. This is a quick discussion, but I'd like for you to join us and get connected with us so that we can share more information. Leave me a note how you like this information, how it's presented, what you would like to see more of. Just leave me that note and let's communicate a little bit about how things are going for you, what your church security situation is, and uh, how we can help you. So thanks for joining me. I hope to see you next time on our next discussion.